a wonderful moment. Important, everlasting farmer to give our thanks and praises. We give our adoration. It is mercy. It's got each and every member of this parish, even from last time to this harvest, that we know can show us. No misfortune, no disaster is unknown. It's of no perfection, but simply of grace. In His mercy, this grace will never be more than most. Amen. If I ask and do all this, I will take and will stand up for one minute. I will rise up for one minute. And just pray for Nigeria. Let's together in one and all facing the altar of grace. May the only love of for the redemption of our country. The blood of the righteous and Christ. And the redness of righteousness in that country now seem endless. Outside of me, there's no other believer. Let's pray. Little more. Some good. And we are from God. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ established His will in that country. By force, by stone, by fire, we are not going to be
so shall it be. Amen. If you have to go withdraw to your job before you are called to bring your offering, how them to give you a thing to you? Put whatever you have in it, pray to the tree, you can go. As you have not come empty, you will not be part empty. The point again is not different from what I would say. We are talking of your salvation, the salvation of your peace, of your joy, of your blessing in this world, and the salvation of your soul in heaven. That is the purpose of Alice. Salvation of your peace of your joy, of your blessing, total victory in this world, and salvation of your soul in the kingdom to come. The first lesson right was taken from the book of Israel, chapter 14. And somebody just read about 22, 23.
and parade around like, like stars that have no focus. And the entirety, the totality of what you come to celebrate is the word of God. Is anybody in Jeremiah chapter 6 that's 10? To whom shall I speak? To whom shall I speak? And give warning. And give warning. That they may hear. So that they may hear. Behold. Behold. Their ear is uncircumcised. Their ear is uncircumcised. And they cannot hearken. Yes. Behold the word of the Lord. Yes. Is unto them a reproach. The word of the Lord to many people is a reproach. Say whatever you want to say and get it out. Your purpose for them is to come and dance and sing and eat rice and drink a cola and go away. Hallelujah. Salvation is absolutely of no access to them. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. And it, 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 it causes a sort of terrible bleeding. The Lord says in First Chronicle chapter 29, verse 10, verse 11, verse 17. Thank you, Lord. Give me faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Is the greatness. Is the greatness. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And glory. And the victory. And victory. And the majesty. And majesty. For all, all that is in heaven. Everything in heaven and on earth is yes. thine. Thine is the king. You are the owner. You are the possessor of the fullness of heaven and the earth and the sea. Yes. And thou art exalted. You are highly exalted. Yes. Continue. Both riches, riches and honor. And honor. Come of thee. Of thee. They are of thee. You are them all. And thou reignest. You reign over everyone. Over all. Yes. Talk about 17. No, I know also. I know also. My God. My God. That thou Christ the heart. When you are going to bring God free, you are just trying our hearts. And ask pleasure. You not like it. You want to know what is now God. Whether we fear you. As for me, you want to know what is now God. Yes. As for me, yes. In the uprightness of, in the the life, uprightness of my heart, of my heart, yes. I will have, I will, I will, I willingly offer all these things. In the uprightness of my mind, of my heart, I will have brought all the offer. Offer all these things. Yes. And now, as have I seen, with God, thy people, which are present here, to offer willingly unto thee. O Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, our fathers, keep this forever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of thy people, God bless you. and prepare their hearts unto thee. Give this heart to your people, the heart to fear you, the heart to appreciate you, the heart to appreciate that the fullness of heaven and earth and the sea, and you yourself, God is the owner. So that God, it says in Psalm 50, the millions of sheep on the mountains, and the thousands of goats on the hills are all mine. If I'm hungry, I will not come to you. If I'm thirsty, I will not come to you. Yes. For every beast of the, of the forest is mine. Every beast of the forest is mine. And the cattle upon the thousand hills. Yes, I must say, yes. I know all the fowls of the mountains. I know all the fowls of the hills. And the wild beasts of the field are mine. Yes. 
If I were hungry, if I'm hungry, I will not tell you. I'm not going to tell you. For the world is mine. The entire world is mine. And the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of goats? Am I eating the flesh of goats? Or drink the blood of goats? No. Offer unto God. All I'm saying, offer unto me. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And pay thy vows. And say that it is a vow. Unto the that most high. God give it to me. And call upon me in the day of trouble. And then call upon me in the day of my catastrophe, I will answer you Amen. and you will glorify me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you more. Everything you are bringing to God, but the Lord wants to know whether you fear Him. Because the point, the person you give your offering to is your God and your Lord. The ancient Jews, Jeremiah 34, from 15, they said, We will continue to blow incense and give wine to the Queen of Heaven. That is Ashkelon, who also continue to sacrifice to Bali. Because when we are doing it, we have everything in abundance. So what you are saying, Jeremiah, who will not listen to you? Ashkelon. Is the queen of erotic love, value of abundance. So when they worship there, they will have big yam, they will have big harvest in the farm. And so, those are their gods. When you go to Bangkok today, right in the airport there, you will see a big image. And most of the shop, you will see all these images. In the morning, they will take big breakfast to eat. In the afternoon, they will bring that out. They will bring big lunch. In the evening, they will take lunch off. They will bring big dinner. That is their goal. They don't need the sacrifice. The person you give the offering to is your God. If you don't bring your offering to God, he's not your God. He wants to identify himself as your God. He wants to identify you as his child. So if you are not bringing offering to the Lord, you are not one of his own. Hallelujah. <laughs> By bringing it, you are showing that it's so God. Then by the nation and the dimension of the offering you are bringing, you show your fear to God. God will never take a second message from you. He says in Genesis 32, just verse 12 and verse 15. Genesis 32, 12. That's bad. That's your only son. Is the one that walk from you. Is the only one that can satisfy me. Is the most expensive thing in your house. Is the greatest possession you have. That is the one that can serve. And Abraham, the man of faith, did what? He took the boy down. He laid the altar, he took the knife, ran into slaughter in him. Yes. Right and do not do that anything unto him. Don't do anything to that boy. For now I know that thou fear my God. For now I know you fear me. See the now. now. For now, because you have done this, I know you fear me. I know you honor me. 
I know my first you. Yes. Seeing that thou hast not without thy son. Even the only son. Yes. Thy only son. Thy only son. Thy only son. The only precious in your house, you have not learned from me. I know by this that you fear me. Yes. Don't and, touch him. Yes. And Abraham lifted up his eyes. Yes. And looked. And behold, behind him a ram caught in a ticket by his tongue. On. Oh, Stop the verse 15 more. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham. The second time. Out of heaven and the second time. Yes. And said, and said By myself have I spoken. I have right the right place of my house, and I saw by myself. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing. Because you have shown the fear for me. Yes. And I now tell thy son, thy I only tell son, the only son for me, that in blessing I will bless you. Blessing I will bless you. And in multiplying I will multiply you. In multiplying I will multiply your son. As the sons of the heaven, you will be of the Lord counting you. And as the sun which is upon the seashore, yes. And I see shall go sad the great of his enemy. You have shown that you fear me. The point is. Our circumstances are always changing our faith. Our circumstances, maybe we go from death, maybe we are asking for something we have not gotten it, maybe we, that will actually determine the way we have to go. The people of God will use their faith in changing their circumstances. Abraham used his faith in changing the circumstances. The sorry fat woman having the last flower for the survival of her child and herself, she used her faith in changing her situation. You are always changing your faith with your situation. It is not good you bring peanuts before God. If the Lord is giving you some substantial money now, you dance and dance and dance, and they think that you need to be the of the church. Hallelujah. Yeah. You must stand in the fear of the Lord. When the Lord has commanded anything, you must do it with all your strength, with all your might, with everything within you, appreciating this fact that this God is God of reciprocity. And that's what he says when he says in Hebrews 6, 9, 10, there are certain things that accompany salvation. Because I remember all that I've been doing, I'm going to give you only even all this. Apart from salvation, I will satisfy you. Because I continue to ask God, why was it so good at the early days of Celestia? Why are people now ravaging in penury? Because with their own mouth to say, you will leave, go see, and the Lord will see it for them. When you are bringing your offering, you are dancing, you are doing this, you are doing that, even after so much preaching, when the envelopes are open, you find one dollar there, you find two dollars there. If there you see the majesty of God, you will never try to give. Just pray. Just pray. Hey. They said these people are tempting me. Say, I will tell them they will see what it takes to be an enemy of God. And all of them were totally consumed about chapter 14. That was a terrific statement. They will see what it takes and what it means to be an enemy of God. They will never be an enemy of God. Amen. By your offerings, you are increasing and improving your sanctification on a daily basis. You see some people are sanctified. They are going spiritually. 
They are growing financially, they are growing materially, and some people are stagnating, even into this retro crash. It's not of power, it's not of might, it's not of wisdom, it's of the grace and the spirit of the living God. If you do it right with God, God will do it right with you. You must honor God. You must to see. Before God and man, he was telling me, but they said they don't fear me. Let me show you the beat of my terrific deeds. And the Lord took me to the mighty ocean before God and man. And released some simple way. Simple way. And I screamed. I screamed. I screamed on the name of Jesus and simply laughed. And I don't show you anything. You have not seen the terrible things in the sea. These people don't fear me. I said, I have fear you just release me. Just release me from this terrible trouble. Learn to fear God. If you don't learn to give to God, you can never grow. I'm not crossing. Holy oh, Spirit of the Lord, show me your way. Show me your way so that I can see your glory. If you don't know the way of the Lord, and say you are serving God, you don't be serving God as a, like a foolish person. Because nothing will come away. It's not by power, it's not by stressing yourself, it's not by jumping off, walking with your head that the Lord will bless those who are with them to me. You will guide them and lift your fingers because he is God. He is the Lord and Mighty King of heaven and earth. Jeremiah 32, 17 says. I'm not going to believe all of it. Yes, Jeremiah 32, 17, 18, as you say. Ah, Lord. Now, Lord. Behold. Behold. Made the heaven and the earth. You God made the heaven and the earth by thy great power. By thy great power. And stretch out arm. And stretch yes. <coughs> and there is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing hard for you, God. Thou showest loving kindness. Yes. Unto thousands. You show your loving kindness to thousands. And recompenses the iniquity of the fathers. And repent the iniquity of the fathers. Into the bosom of their children. Even the fourth them. generation. The great, the mighty God. You are the great. You are the mighty God. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. Is his name. This is his Great in counsel. Great in counsel. Mighty in war. Mighty in war. For their eyes are open upon all the ways. The eyes of the Lord are open upon the ways of men. To and you bring you whatever you want before the Lord. What the man says, what the man carries, they don't have any integrity. What is your heart carries your integrity? Yes. So give everyone according to his ways. Give every man according to his ways. And according to the fruits of his doings. And according to the fruits of his doings. Don't, don't ask when some people are progressing and growing and you are stagnating. Don't, don't be annoyed. If you are annoyed, there's nothing you can do for God. So you say you are fighting with God, you are obligating yourself. All that God is saying to do, try and do it right. Don't let the circumstances change your faith. Let your faith determine your circumstances. Even if I don't have, and have to offer, I charge my credit card, and I know we will replenish it. If God must serve in faith, whatever you bring with before the Lord, in time it. I will measure God. I will see God. He says, 
in Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, if you say I'm your God, that is my fear. If you say I'm your master, that is my honor. You are bringing blind offerings. You think I will take this from you? Instead of taking it, I will cause. May the Lord not cause us. Amen. May the Lord not cause me. Amen. Just all I need for you, man. The Lord will not cost me. You are very selfish. The Lord will not cost us. Everything about the Lord is your 